Got a couple cars on the apron down here. Looks like Brian Scott and Peyton Sellers. Oh, Peyton Sellers got his car torn up pretty good here. Short track ace uh, damage on both sides of his Chevy. And there's uh, the 11 car, Brian Scott, the regular in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series, who finished fourth here on Wednesday night in the truck race. Yeah, and he just got in the lucky dog on the last. Uh, yeah, he just stopped. Last I mean, I had a run on the outside. He went up there and just, like, he got loose and backed way out of the gas or something. Show you what happened here. Top of your screen. And they come off the corner off turn four. Well, it didn't look just a... exactly like you described. Well, it didn't <laughs> look like he stopped by any means, but he sure ran into the back of him. I guess he was maybe expecting that 77 to let him go by there on the high side, but he slid right up in front and that created the contact. Caution now for the seventh time tonight. It has already been the Battle of Bristol. We still have 86 laps to go. Under caution for the seventh time in tonight's NASCAR Nationwide Series 250 lapper at Bristol Motor Speedway. That is not a good sight. The car of Peyton Sellers and there Brian Scott climbing from his damaged Toyota back in the garage area. Those two drivers crashing off turn four to bring out yellow flag number seven in this event. No, it, we were just trying to be a rookie here tonight, putting laps on the board, gaining all the experience we could. Uh, the SFB team has been working really hard throughout practice to give me the car we needed tonight. And, you know, we were actually getting up there and mixing it up a little bit. And looks like Brian Scott got in the back of us and turned us around. You know, it, we had been racing really hard all night, so, um, you know, it's just a tough break. We'll just go to Atlanta in a couple weeks and hopefully have a better run there.